Hi, in this video we'll have a look at creating a FortiGate site to site VPN tunnel. Um, I'll be using two physical FortiGate appliances. One's a 60C and another is an 80C. And they're both on version 5 of the FortiGate software. So we will use the VPN wizard on the 80C and do it manually on the 60C. And this is the lay 3 topology diagram. The way I'm managing both devices is from the internal side of the 48 to see here. So I'm using this management station and I'm managing it from the internal side here. And to manage the 60C, I'm going through the firewall to the 60C on the external side here. So it says internet here, really, they're just both plugged in, directly connected into each other. And these are the uh, addresses. So there's a 10.10.10.0 slash 24 network behind this 40 gate. There's a 172.10.10.0 slash 24 behind this 40 gate here. I'm using a slash 28 over 192.168.10 uh, network on the one side. So what we'll do is we'll log in to, we'll, we'll start off with the HC since we're already on the page. And the first thing to do is if we go to network interfaces, we can at least see the interfaces. So I'm using 11 on the external side and I'm using the internal side you can see the IP addresses and lots of management access uh, configured to allow me to get access to um, the appliances so if we go to VPN and if we yeah so if we make sure we've selected wizard we come to the wizard page so we've got to give it a name and because this is the A to C and if we go back to the diagram this is the New Delhi office. I'm connecting to the London office. I'll give it a name of 2 London. And I'll make sure it's a, a site to site FortiGate um, option selected here. And then we'll click Next. So, next, we need to give it an IP address for the remote gateway. And the IP address is 192.168.10.2. So 192.168.10.2 and the outgoing interface will be, well it's uh, automatically detected it so it's gone for 1.1 one, one, which is correct. Um, authentication method, we'll use pre-shared key, you can use uh, signature, certificate based authentication for more uh, security but we'll stick with pre-shared key. And we'll keep the characters hidden and click next. The local interface, so that will be my internal side, so here, and again it's uh, detected my uh, local area network uh, off this interface, and we need to specify the remote subnet, so I'll go with the one here, it's 172.10.10.0 uh, slash 24, so 172.10.10.0 slash 24. And that's it. We can click create from here. And it just confirms uh, all the settings we have in here. And uh, we can click on show tunnel list. And we can see our tunnel here. Uh, we can double click it as well to have a look at the settings inside it. So it's a site to site uh, VPN tunnel to London. Um, you've got the settings here. Uh, so we can edit these. Uh, you can see the settings in here, edit again, you can see the authentication settings, uh, the phase 2 selectors in here, if you select edit from there you can see, um, I'm sure there's uh, an advanced section somewhere where you can see uh, further settings, um, anyway we'll, uh, we've created the VPN tunnel, we'll come back to this, um, so we click OK here and now if we go to the 60C, if we log in, so network interfaces, we can see our interfaces from here and that should uh, DMZ, we're not using that and so what I can do here is just double click it, actually if I we're not using one, two, or DMZ. Uh, so I'll just copy this. Go back into DMZ. Just so it doesn't confuse me, I've just 
unconfigured the uh, IP address since it's all zeros. I can even bring it down from here. Click OK. So it's administratively shut down now. So DMZ and one two we're not using. Uh, we are using uh, one one on the internal side. So it does show down on the internal side because I've got nothing plugged in uh, to it on the internal interface. Uh, but it's uh, yeah. So for this purpose, we'll be using uh, these two. So now, if we go to security profiles, no VPN, and here we're going to be doing it manually. So the next thing we need to do is create the phase one. So if we click here, and now we need to give it a name. So, um, so this is the 60C. And if we look at the diagram, uh, it's the London office and we're going to the New Delhi office. So I'll just give it a name of New Delhi um, Let's do two New Delhi Phase 1, let's just call it P1 And now we need to provide the remote gateway It can be, yeah, so you've got a few options So we'll keep it static, so you've got dynamic options here as well And a dial-up user, so uh, the address to that gateway is 192.168.10.1 so 192.168.10.1 and the local interface will be 11 yeah so keep everything um, as um, default as possible so using main mode uh, using uh, you know you can change these but the most important thing to remember, whatever you change, including the proposals, the encryptions, authentication, etc., is, is usually the it's both on the same sides. So you've got both the same settings and they're matching on the same sides. Otherwise, the VPN tunnel doesn't usually work because of that reason. So again, pre-shared key it has to be the same as the other side. And let's go scroll down. We'll click OK here. Okay, so now we've got our phase one here and it's binded to the one one interface. So if we go for create phase two, we'll give it a name. Uh, let's call it two New Delhi phase two or P2. Static IP address, that's fine. You've got advanced options here, but um, I'm not going to be, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the defaults. The defaults work fine. Uh, especially that it's a 40 gate to 40 gate as well. So the proposals and the um, the, the encryption authentication, the proposals, they all uh, match from uh, this 40 gate to the A to C. So I'm good with that. So all we need is three days and SHA1 or AES128 and SHA1. And that we've got that on the other side as well. So we've got to the other side actually, we can see this. It's somewhere here. I think, oh, you've got to create a convert it to custom tunnel and then you can see the options. I'm not really that familiar with this, um, this uh, the wizard style. But yeah, I mean, the, the advance is here and then you can see further settings here. You can see your proposals uh, here. So if we go back here, so we've got 3 does SHA1 and then we've got this, there's one here somewhere, 3 does SHA1, so it should work. So we've done that we just need to I think we, we that's all we need we just need to click OK here invalid length of value um, what have I done there what have I done here so um, so sorry yeah so that that's fine so we need to um, specify the first one that's what I was missing so phase one to New Delhi uh, as part of this uh, VPN tunnel. So we need to specify in here the phase one settings. So we click OK, and that's it really. Uh, job's a good one. So the next thing we need to do is because we're doing this manually with the wizard on the other one on this one, 
it would have created our addresses. So policy and objects, uh, if we go to objects, address addresses. So we'd have created our addresses. You can see the LAN here, 10, 10, 10, 0, slash 24. The remote side, it'd be here somewhere as well. Uh, here they are. So it's created these two addresses. One's 10, 10, 10, 0. So that LAN one I must have created earlier. So it's created these two. Uh, so one's called to London local subnet. That's the local side. Um, and then there's to London remote subnet. And that's the remote side. So we need to manually create these on the other side. So if I can just kind of copy that. But we need to change it to New Delhi. So what I'll do is go to this one, go to um, firewall objects, addresses, and create new. So to New Delhi, New Delhi. Um, I don't like underscores, I like high dashes. Local subnet. To New Delhi local subnet. So the local subnet is um, 172.10.10.0. slash 24. and it's on the internal side of the interface. Let's click OK on that. So it's created that. Let me just copy that. Create new. Let's paste that in. But let's specify this as remote. So this can be the remote subnet to New Delhi and the um, IP address of that will be 10.10.10.0 10, 10, 10, slash 24 here. So 10.10.10.0 10, 10, 10, 10, slash 24. The interface will be on the. It won't be on the one side, it will be using the um, VPN tunnel, which is this one. So let's, let's just make sure on that. So let's click this one because I'm creating the remote side. Uh, it's, it's actually the interface is being left as any on this one. So, um, and it's been left as any on this one. So, I'll, I'll leave them in. If I get any problems, I'll take them out. But that should, it should work. So, I've created the addresses. And the next thing we need to do is to create the policy. So, create new. So the first policy will be, we're not using policy-based VPN, so this option is policy-based. We'll be using a root-based VPN or interface-based VPN, which is um, which relies on um, tunnel interfaces. So we specify tunnel interfaces. So the first one will be the incoming interface will be internal. From the, So we're going to do it from um, the internal side going outbound. And the source address will be to New Delhi local subnet. So because I've specified the interfaces of this address earlier on, and which interface it's off, it only gives me that option. But it's fine, that, that's all we need. We don't need to see the one side in there, or any weird uh, routing scenarios. Um, destination interface will be the the tunnel interface, so not the one. It's the tunnel interface. So, and the destination address is um, this one here to New Delhi remote subnet. Schedule always. Let's go for services all. Let's accept it. And uh, let's just click OK here. So we've created that, and then what we need to do is create it uh, for inbound as well. So the inbound one will be 
the interface will be from the tunnel interface to New Delhi, phase one. Um, source address will be coming from the remote subnet, New Delhi remote subnet. Outgoing uh, interface will be the internal side. And the destination address will be the local subnet to New Delhi local subnet here. Service all accept action accept and let's click OK here. So the tunnels are created now at both sides and if we go to let's go to VPN monitor. Let's go to VPN IPsec monitor. And we can see it here. So this is our uh, tunnel. Uh, you can see that there's no the, the status is down, but I can bring it up from here. This is to bring it up from here. This is essentially a ping. Uh, yeah, sorry. You you can actually ping to bring it up, or you can just select hit it here, and this will bring it up instead. So it's actually come up. Um, so we're on the 60C. 60C here. So if we go to the HC and we go to VPN tunnels uh, let's go to monitor IPsec monitor and it, you can see the status it's up so what we can do is because we can't see any incoming outgoing data on this side or um, incoming data on this side or outgoing data it's all zero zero what we can do from the 60C I think my laptop should will will we'll respond to pings we'll just ping the laptop address 10 10 10 uh, dot 2 so if we go to the 60C. If we go to systems, dashboard, status, go to the um, CLI here, and if we do a execute ping 10.10.10.2. Well, I was thinking it does respond to pings. Uh, maybe it doesn't. So, but that will still um, create. Um, a VP, some VPN tunnel traffic because uh, that's interesting traffic on this side so um, if we go back to the monitors let's go so we've done it from 6C let's go to 8C let's go let's refresh this page and we still don't see anything um, right let's just do it another way so maybe that that doesn't work so let's go to CMD let's just ping something from my workstation to this side there's there's nothing there but let's just ping 172.10.10.10 or something 172.10.10.10 ping 172 sorry .10.10.10 so we pinged it so we're pinging from here and we're pinging to this side of the network um so we'll go to 60C now. VPN, VPN tunnel, and we can see traffic. There you go. So it's only coming on the inbound direction. So the inbound direction on the 60C is uh, internal, coming from the external through the internet, internal, and that ping initiated some traffic there. Um, that's it for this video, hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.